So there are a lot of reasons why people don't have enough savings or enough wealth. Today, I'm gonna to talk about one of those things. And this is a big one. If people could change their mind about this one thing, it would have a significant impact on their savings and their wealth. This one thing, people don't think about. It's like breathing. They just breathe. They don't think about it. Somehow, I'm different. The status quo doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand not thinking about this. I don't understand taking it as given. So what is this thing? Let's get into it. First, we need to think about two questions. The first question is, what things affect your income? So what affects your income? Things like education. If you have a college degree, you probably make more than if you don't have a college degree. If you have an MBA, you probably make more than if you don't have an MBA. What else? Maybe your experience, your job experience. If you've had big jobs in the past, then this probably means you can handle big jobs and you're likely to get bigger jobs now. If you have leadership experience or management experience, these things would make you worth more. What else could affect your income? What about effort? So if you work 80 hours, you're probably gonna earn more than someone who doesn't work 80 hours. So that's the first question. The second question is, what affects your spending? What affects your spending? If you're a 20 year old just out of college, you're probably living in a one bedroom apartment. If you're a 40 year old, you maybe you've moved up to a house. You have a nice house in the suburbs or something. So that would affect your spending. Your household size. If you're single, you're gonna spend less than someone who's married and has kids. What else? Your hobbies. Maybe you're a fisherman and you have a boat. Or maybe you like to run, so you need running shoes. Or maybe you do CrossFit, so you need membership to a CrossFit gym. So hobbies could also affect your spending. All right, so what's this big thing I'm talking about? So so as far as those two lists go, there was nothing on both lists, right? There was nothing on the income list that was also on the spending list. There may be some small things that are related to both. Like if you went to college, you need to pay back college loans. So this would be on both lists, but there aren't many things that are on that would affect both income and spending. If this is true, then income shouldn't be related to spending, right? If the things that affect spending are not the same things that affect income, then those two should be separate. The thing I'm talking about at the beginning of the video where people just do it without thinking is that the biggest determinant of how much people spend is how much they earn. If they get a $100 raise, they're gonna spend an extra $100. But in my mind, it doesn't make any sense. Why would whatever I earn change how much I spend? Those two should be totally separate. I know what I need to live, that's how much I should spend. Then I also should work hard at work, but those two should not be related. Like think about buying a house. The biggest determinant of how much people spend on a house, which is the biggest investment they make in their life. When they sign their name, this could be a half million dollars or a million dollars, their biggest financial decision of their life, the amount in that decision is likely determined by their bank. People take their income to a bank, they have to get pre-approved for a house. Then some stranger looks at this and they say, you're pre-approved for a $700,000 house. So then people just go buy a $700,000 house. They don't think, what's the right house for me? This stranger at the bank said, you can buy up to a $700,000 house and people just go do it. Well, you shouldn't go do it. You need to think about what house do you need? What house do you want? What's the right amount to spend per month as far as you're concerned? What do you think is the right amount? Not what does some banker think is the right amount? You should to decide how much your house costs, not the banker who pre-approves you for your loan. You shouldn't necessarily spend all that the banker says you can afford to spend. You should determine what you can afford to spend, not the bank. In a perfect world, your spending over your life would increase slowly and your income over your life would increase fast. So then when you get a raise, you can save most of it or all of it. It wouldn't change what you spend money on or how much money you spend. In economics, this is called the income effect. And the income effect is for a change in income, there is a change in demand. And what that means is, is if you get a thousand dollar raise at work, now you demand Whole Foods groceries, whereas before you demanded Walmart groceries. This doesn't make any sense to me, although it for sure is happening and probably with the majority of people. So people would be well served. Their lives would be significantly better off if they can split income and spending. Make it so these two are not related. In this bucket of your life, think about what you need and what you want, and that's what you spend. In this bucket of your life, work hard at work. Try to get raises when you can. Switch to better paying jobs when you can and when you think it's the right thing. So this should be separate from this. Don't make this determine this. Thank you for watching this video. Please try and think about spending and income separately. What do you need for life? What do you want for life? Keep that separate from what you earn at your job. I think that this could result in a big change in your wealth, in your savings, and your stress. If you don't have enough money, this is likely one reason why. Thanks again for watching. I hope this made you think about spending and income. Please click below and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video.